Well, Father's Day coming up on Sunday. We had a fascinating conversation about this on our program today. We got a caller who said something very simple, that if you really want to advise young dads, and this probably applies to any dad of a young child, go and listen to that song, Cats in the Cradle, the old Harry Chapin mm. song where... You know, the dad hasn't got much time for the son, and you think, oh, next week. too weekend, busy with his weekend. career, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. And then, and then at the end of the song, the dad, of course, is retired, but the son's got too, not enough time mm. for him. And it's, it's a really, really profound and simple message, isn't it, that it goes very quickly, and every minute you can spend with your child, your son, is really, really important. That son is my case, but your son or your daughter. But I always get a, a lump in my throat because my son's now 25 and uh, there are moments now when I'll send him a text message or call and he doesn't pick up or he doesn't re reply to the text message for quite a few hours and you start going, well, come on, what's going on? He's busy. He's leading his life now and he doesn't need his old man around. That's right. That's right. So the whole uh, son and daughter with father situation is... is it's going to be quite bittersweet for some people this weekend. For some people, they don't see their dad. They're estranged from their father. Uh, there'll be other people who are estranged from their children. There are people like me who I never knew my dad. Now, that's because he died. There are others whose uh, dad might have walked out on them. He died a month before you were born. That's right. Before, I, I never knew him. And so, you know, I really now have an obligation, and I've never really done this, and I'm, I'm not young, have never really gone and found out all of the details about his life, largely because it wasn't part of my life and almost I wanted to push it to one side. But I've got an obligation for my own son now to, to let him know a little bit more. These are really important things that maybe we ought to think about on Father's Day rather than the commercial imperative of going out and buying a belt or some socks. Or, or socks. Or, or in my case, yeah. some golf gear or something from Bunnings, a certificate. Or I'm, like I'm glad you mentioned the word obligation because obligation is very important on Father's Day. And for all of you kids out there, and for anyone who's going to be spending Father's Day with their father, I want you to get in the car with them because there's an obligation on you. So when you're in the car, you're sitting in the back seat, Dad's driving, and you go past the cemetery and he says, oh, have a look at over there. There's the dead centre of town. There's an obligation on you to laugh. You must always laugh at a dead joke. Okay, and what we're going to do next week, we'll let you know the follow-up because Gary has requested for Father's Day that all of his children and members of his family gather for one hour, uh, sit in, in an array of chairs and allow him to tell his jokes and they are required to laugh. This could be something. I'm just worried. Do you think I've got enough material? Do you think I've got enough bad jokes? You've got plenty of material, I'll tell you, lots of it.